So if you live in Mississippi, the most common stinging caterpillar you're going to run into would be the buck moth caterpillar. And according to entomologist Blake Layton, these caterpillars are moving along Interstate 20 and are expected to move northward from April through May. Loaded with spikes all around, it should be clear not to handle them on appearance alone. Stings from these guys will cause immediate intense pain that will spread to your lymph nodes. Swelling and redness can last up to a week. Buckmoth caterpillars spend most of their time in oak trees as they like to eat oak leaves, but eventually they will begin their wandering phase and that's when most people accidentally run into them. And above me is an example of what it might look like if you do get stung. Despite its obvious negatives, the buck moth is actually quite beautiful and completely harmless. Another stinging variety you can find in Mississippi is the Nason's slug caterpillar, and this looks more like a snail without a shell than a caterpillar. This caterpillar has some control over its spines and is capable of retracting and extending them at will. And at the first sign of possible danger, the sting is rather unpleasant and similar to a bee sting, but unlikely to cause any long-term effects. And here is their rather nondescript adult moth, which again, completely harmless. Mississippi is also the home of one of the most beautiful moths that is commonly bred by breeders. However, their caterpillar has a nasty sting. This would be the caterpillar of the I.O. moth and covered with spikes like the buck moth. Sting from these will give you intense pain, redness and swelling, and it can last about eight hours. But the adult moths come in many beautiful colors and varieties. And like many adult moths, they will only live for about two weeks. The reason being is that they have no mouths as adults and so they have to live off stored body fat from when they were a caterpillar, which lasts about two weeks. So their only purpose is reproduction and passing on.